Hey, welcome back. Two months ago, almost to the day, we took a bag exactly like this from Walmart and thought we'd try something. We took our old 1950s tractor, we plowed up some land that wasn't being used for anything, we disked it, and then we hand cast these. And that was it, that was all we did. No fertilizer, no amendments, we didn't even weed. The results blew our mind. Not only will this help us with our animal feed, but the beauty is just staggering. You wanna see it? Let's go. We have got tens of thousands of sunflowers. Now initially, we planted these for animal feed. They're a black sunflower. And they will work really well with our pigs and with our chickens. But what I don't think we <laughs> counted on was how incredibly well this would work and how many flowers were going to bloom. The beauty that we see every day when we drive in is just staggering. All this for an $11 bag of seeds. We have brought in thousands and thousands of pollinators. They're just everywhere. You can just walk around and see pollinators all day, every day. Pollinators everywhere. And I bet you only half the flowers, maybe less, have opened so far. Look at this stem. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten buds on one stem. Interestingly, some stems just have one. But right next to it, out of the same bag, one, two, three, four, five, six. But it's just unbelievably beautiful. And you can see the grass is high, but it's not as high as our sunflowers. All the way into the woods. a whole nother ecosystem down here. It's just beautiful. Black sunflowers have been used for hundreds of years as animal feed. It's extremely popular in Europe. If you can't tell, those flowers are eight feet tall all the way through that patch. And so we, here at Flannel Farms, have been endeavoring to grow our own feed. And what this is going to do for us is allow us to harvest this once the seeds dry, put them into barrels, and provide a rich source of protein for our chickens and our pigs. When I tell you this is one of the easiest things we've ever done here, 
I am not spinning a yarn. Having a tractor with a plow on the bottom is very useful. But if you don't, if you can churn up the soil and throw it into loose soil, you should get similar results. We are in zone seven near coastal Virginia, for those of you wondering. It's just magnificent. So in another month or so, what you're gonna see is us harvesting these and storing them. But I didn't wanna wait that long to show it to you because the beauty is just phenomenal. God's design in nature is just fantastic. And you know what's really, really cool? The sun rises right over there. And if you'll notice the direction of the flowers, almost all of them are pointing toward the rising sun. Thanks for sharing in this beauty with me today. If you haven't already, please hit that like button. Please subscribe to our channel. Keep growing as you grow. We'll see you next time. Bye.